More than a year after Hurricane Ian filled this Cape Coral home with four to five feet of storm surge, there is still damage everywhere. I'm Ryan Kruger, and I spoke with the homeowners here who say more than a year later, they feel like they're forgotten. I've been through typhoons in the Pacific Ocean on ships, Okinawa, Philippines. John Gunny Owens thought he had seen it all. Serving more than four decades in the Marine Corps, the retired Master Sergeant and Purple Heart honoree now lives a quiet life on the water in Cape Coral. But his life was turned upside down when Hurricane Ian brought the water into his house. You know, I'm watching it rise and rise. I said, nah, it ain't going to come up in a house, you know. Well, I was dead wrong. More than a year later, the damage is still everywhere. The holes in the walls represent how high the water was that day. Has it been tough to deal with all of this? Yeah, it's been tough, but, you know, I've been through a lot, so uh, I take it with a grain of salt. His daughter, Melissa Ann Stevens, tells me the past year has been a constant battle with homeowners insurance, contractors, adjusters, and the mortgage company. There's been so many instances of what we've had to go through where people will double the money of what something costs or they'll say it costs this and then they turn around and, and say it costs that when they know that an adjuster's involved. Making recovery harder, like many elderly residents throughout Southwest Florida, Gunny has limited mobility and a fixed income. Yeah, that's the true story of, of this storm, is that you know there's a lot of elderly people that just can't do a lot. I, we are not taking care of the people that, that take care of us. We're free because of him. You know, he, he, he did Vietnam, he did Desert Storm. Melissa tells me she has a check from the insurance company that will cover less than half of the costs she expects to fix the house. She's hoping this story will spur a broader conversation about how we are caring for our elderly population. His enjoyment is out looking at that water and I want him to be happy. In Cape Coral, Ryan Kruger, Fox 4.